Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a paper origami crane. And uh, what I'm going to do different in this tutorial is I'm going to use highlighters to emphasize and illustrate every crease. So it's just uh, going to be a little bit easier step by step for you know, maybe the first time or if you're new to do an origami. Um, so first you're going to need either origami paper or printer paper that you can make into a square. And what you're going to do to do that is basically take this corner and fold it down along that edge and then take a pair of scissors and cut the excess paper off just like that and then when you open it back up you have a perfect square. And then this is going to be the first of your folds you're going to want to do. So I'll go ahead and illustrate this one. And then next, so you have this fold, you're going to want to take the other corner and, oops, and fold it the other way. Just like that. And then now you want to flip it over and you're going to fold it now into in half the other way. To basically two rectangles. And then you want to do it the other way as well. So now on this side, now have folds basically going the other way. And then once you get to this point, you're going to want to tilt it like that and these two folds right here it's going to kind of naturally want to come together and you want to fold along those edges and bring these two points inward down to the bottom and then when you do that at the top hold those crease down just like that so then now you have the square basically the kind of like four um, little triangular flanges coming out um, then you want to always keep the, the flaps on the bottom and then now for the next step, uh, once you get that creased real good, you're going to want to take this corner right here, this edge, and match it along the center crease you have right here. Basically just fold these in. And then once you do that, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll go ahead and illustrate those for you. And actually there's one more thing you want to do. So you get those folded on both sides. Um, and this step isn't necessary, but I, I like to do it as an extra step, is when you take the top part right here and give it just a little bit of a crease on top and that'll help help guide a fold later on. Um, then you want to go ahead and open up all four sides. And I'll go ahead and illustrate all these for you. So you'll fold there, fold there, fold there, right there, and the crease we did right on top. And so now Go ahead and illustrate the inside folds. Just like that. So you have folded like this. And when you did that, also fold the inside. Which then what you want to do is take this bottom flap and push it up and crease it right there where this fold is. And then on the two inside creases, basically fold those in. Crease the bottom 
and then just kind of let this fall together into a crease just like that and then flip it over and do the same thing and then you're going to want to take this and kind of just give a little bit of crease the other way and open it up and along these two folds right here oh, well, fold those in and let this all just kind of fall together just like that crease it real good and once you have that you'll see the, uh, the split part down at the bottom I'm going to keep that there and uh, now what you're going to want to do is take the corner edges and this right here and fold it into the center just like this I'm going to do that on both sides so it looks just like that then fold it up, uh, flip it over and do the same two folds just like that so it looks like that and then now you're going to want to take the, the two flaps pinch them together and at the same time pinch the other two together so you're basically just inverting what you have and you'll get what looks like this and then from there you can already see a little bit of a crease right here I want to fold up these parts on both sides flip it over fold it up there at the bottom and then now basically invert it again so pinch these two together and pinch the back two together just like that so now you'll get this and then down at the bottom fold these over to get your wings same thing on the other side and now you can see you have the wings and the last second to last step we want to take these and along this edge right here basically just kind of pull them out and then pinch it and refold it right along that edge same thing on this side then the last step I'm going to take the, uh, for the head, basically push this down and pinch it in. Just like that. And there you have it. You have a origami crane.